What's up everybody, this is Mike. And after months and months of waiting, DJI has finally listened and I have just released a new firmware update for the DJI Mavic Air. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick heads up about the recent firmware update of the Mavic Air. As a matter of fact, it was just released yesterday, so I'm sure many of you guys are not aware of this firmware update, and I'm sure many of you guys will be happy to hear that finally DJI has addressed the issues of the firmware 0400, the previous firmware update of the Mavic Air that so many people were complaining about and were not happy with, Finally, DJI has made some changes and now the drone should be performing much better. So the update is about 122 megabytes and it's available both for the Android and the iOS users. You should be able to see the firmware update once you connect your drone to your phone. Uh, and you will see that you can update right away. As long as you have the latest DJI Go 4 app, you should be good to go. Once you start updating, be aware that you need to update the remote controller as well, but that should come after the update for your drone. So first you update the drone and what are the changes? I'm sure most of you guys are wondering what are the changes, what has been done for this drone and let me tell you. So this firmware basically fixes everything that was broken with the previous one. So it's mostly uh, bug fixes and a little uh, feature that has been added to the remote controller, but it's mostly bug fixes. So here's everything that is new with this firmware update. The issue where the aircraft behaved abnormally when it misidentified a subject in the active track is now fixed. The issue during return to home where the aircraft continued to fly backwards when it sensed obstacles both in front and behind has been fixed. The issue where the time displayed on photos was incorrect is also fixed. The issue where the aircraft flight distance was still restricted despite the distance limit being disabled in DJI Go 4 app has also been fixed. The issue where the abnormal current warning appeared too frequently in some situations has been fixed. And finally, the issue where the aircraft could not land due to issues with the remote controller sticks has also been fixed. Now to the feature that I mentioned in the beginning of this video that has been added to the remote controller. Once you update your uh, firmware to the latest 0500 update, you will see that there is another update for your remote controller. You need to do that as well. And then you'll get this new feature which basically allows you to press the customizable button on the back of the remote controller. And by adjusting the gimbal tilt button you will be able to change the exposure value uh, with just this uh, gimbal wheel button so it's a bit easier to control uh, the exposure value that way i'm not exactly too happy about it but it's a bit co more convenient for the users to change the exposure value that way uh, without going to the settings Talking about the settings, keep in mind that when you update your firmware to the latest version, you might experience a reset to your camera settings and to some other uh, features of your drone, such as the return to home altitude, the maximum flight distance and other settings like that. So be aware that those values could be changed. So go in your settings and make sure they are set to the correct values that you want to use. Uh, just a heads up about that because my values were returned to the stock, to the default values, and I had to change them back to what I'm using with my Mavic Air. And that's basically it for this update. Like I said, it's not a big update. It's just uh, bug fixing and this little remote controller feature being added uh, to the firmware. I'm sure DJI could have made it a lot better if they included some new features from the Mavic 2 series like the Hyperlapse for example that so many people are requesting this feature but I guess they just don't want to hurt the sales of the Mavic 2 series. Anyway with that being said hopefully you guys can update to this firmware 
and hopefully you will be flying a lot safer now because I have heard a lot of horror stories about people um, crashing with their drone or experiencing flyaways or drifts with the Mavic Air. So hopefully now everything will be left in the past and you will be uh, happy with your Mavic Air finally. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching this quick heads up video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please share it with all of your Mavic Air friends so they know uh, there is a new firmware um, out there. Thank you for the support and I'll catch you in my next video. Ciao!